Today, we are going to be writing about soldiers. Do you see the soldier saluting our American flag? Here's a circle map. Let's think of some things that will help us with our writing about a soldier. Soldiers protect. Soldiers are kind. Soldiers are loyal. Okay, so we are going to write these words on our circle map. Go and get your circle map now, and we will write these three words. Here's my circle map. Pause the video, copy these three words, and get ready to do your writing. Are you all done with your circle map? Okay, we are going to use it to help us do our writing that says S is for soldier. I already drew my picture at the top and I will show it to you. You can also draw one too. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on our writing. Boys and girls, this is Nurse Jones. See right here, Nurse Jones. He works in a hospital. See that hospital? It says hospital on his back. And he's another great community helper who's going to help us. Thanks for joining us, Nurse Jones. I'm happy to be here. We're gonna we're gonna draw something. Oh, you already drew the picture. I did. I drew a picture of a soldier with a little flag. That looks marvelous. I really like it. Oh well, thank you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start and we are going to use our map to help us with our writing today. I traced over this word soldier, so you can trace over yours as well. And you can see that I have all of my special words in here that help me remember what I want to write about a soldier. So the top says, S is for soldier. That's right, S is for soldier. So we are going to write something that has to do with these three words. Now, I think I'm gonna start off and say soldiers are loyal and kind. Let's start right there. Soldiers, okay, so I have to start with an S. Now look today, boys and girls, we are back to our bumpy lines. So it's a great way to practice like this and like we did the other way too, uh, where we had no bumpy line at all. Okay, so let's make sure we are keeping those lowercase letters underneath that bumpy line when we do have a bumpy line. Sometimes we have it and sometimes we don't, okay? So we have soldiers, soldiers, finger space, R. Okay, now let's take a look over here, Nurse Jones. Do you think I have room for this word loyal? Do you think I have room in there? Nope, think you're gonna have to come down. Okay, so we're gonna have to come down here. Soldiers are loyal. So I'm gonna come down here, loyal. Okay, and, but first I need a finger space, and, and then I'm gonna do another finger space, loyal and kind, yeah. Okay, oh, that looks great. Okay, now make sure you have greed at the beginning for your, your uh, capital. Oh, that's right, because we wanna make sure we get a check mark for that one, so let's make sure we have a, Capital at the beginning. Yes, we do. If we didn't, you'd have to fix it. Uh, so make sure yours is a capital. And oh, we need a period at the end. Yeah, this is a telling sentences. Soldiers are loyal and kind. So it's not a question, it's telling us something. Okay, period. And then what else do we need? Oh, well, let's get our finger spaces. All right, let's get our finger spaces in there. We've got those, the, between those two words. We could put one here if we want to, but I don't think I need to today. I think I'm gonna leave that blank, but you could put one if you think you need it. I'm gonna put one here and I'm gonna put one here. Okay, so I have my finger spaces in between all of my words. And then I wanted to add one more sentence today about protect protect because it's very important to mention that soldiers protect us. So how about if we just say they protect us? Yeah, that makes sense. Let's let's write that for the next sentence. Okay. So they so I'm going to put a capital T right here. They that's the beginning of a sentence. So it has to be a capital T. They now, boys and girls, sorry, there's not a lot of room down here. So just bring your digger down just as far as you can. You might have to touch the bottom of the paper today, okay? They, finger space, protect. Now I'm gonna look over here to see how to spell that so I can remember, let's see, protect. I see it right there, okay. Pro, P-R-O-T, ooh, that's a long word. Protect. 
ooh, good, I'm going to have just enough room for the last word right there, which is us. They protect us. Finger space. And then I'm going to write us. Am I missing anything, Nurse Jones? Well, yep, you have to have a period at the end. Oh, okay. So period right here. Oh, I noticed on this one, look, I, I didn't even use a pencil. I just jumped right in there with my crayon. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, but that one I did a, a pencil and then I put the red over the top. Okay, then I have to go back and do what, Nurse Jones? Well, you're going to need to make sure you have a capital at the beginning. Oh, I do. Look, capital T. Boys and girls, do you have a capital at the beginning of your sentence? Capital T for they? Make sure you do. If you do, you can make it green. And that means go. And then we need our finger spaces. That's right. We need our finger spaces. So put one there and put one there. Oh, it looks pretty good. Okay. So today I am going to make sure that I have all of everything that I need and I'm going to check it all off. Okay. I'm going to put my little check marks right in here today, right up here. Okay. So what's the first thing I need to do? Well, first you need to make sure you have capitals. Capital S and T. Yep. Okay. Check. All right. Check. Uh, then you need to make sure that you uh, you have a punctuation. Oh, okay. Yep, I've got my punctuation after this sentence and after this sentence. Check. All right. Then oh, well, make sure you have finger spaces. Okay, let's see. Yes, in between all the words. Okay, yes, check. Uh, what's the next one? Oh, make sure you wrote neatly. Oh, I definitely wrote neatly. I was very careful because I had a bumpy line today, so I kept all of those shapes of the different letters underneath the bumpy line that needed to be there. So check. And then does it make sense? Oh, well, let's read it. Soldiers are loyal and kind. They protect us. Yes, it makes sense. That's a really good writing. I really, really like those sentences. Okay, check. All right, I have five check marks. Okay, and I did everything correctly. I am very proud of my writing today. Boys and girls, are you proud of your writing? Good job today, boys and girls.